Good evening and welcome to a sweltering Saturday night here at the Shea under the lights for this crucial Bedford Championship Round 26 clash between Halifax Panthers and Toulouse Olympic Saturday the 9th of September 2023. We are in West Yorkshire where it's very much south of France climate here in this crucial must win game for facts if they, we are to stand any chance of making in the season playoffs. Let's go through the teams first and foremost with the Panthers. Couple of changes. Simon Griggs' has men one force with Huddersfield recalling Adam O'Brien. And also due to injuries as well. We'll go through first of all. Number one, James Woodburn all keeps his place at full back after his try scoring exploits. Uh, the away win at Whitehaven last Sunday. Black on Wolf in ben, uh, James Salton Storm. Number two, number five on the wings. Zach McComb. The birthday boy, celebrating his 28th birthday today, wears three, and Ben Crooks wears 35. Half past Halifax, six and seven, Louis Jufre and Joe Keys, six and seven. Front row, Will Calcott wears 16. Brandon Moore back into the side. Captain Brandon Moore, number nine. And Kevin Leroyer against his hometown team, wears 31. Completes the front row. And yet again, 11, 12, 13. Ben Kavanagh, try scorer last week, as was Matty G, number 12, and Jacob Fairbank locks the scrum up at 13. On the bench of backs, number 20, Tom Inman, number 8, Adam Sangata, number 19, Ryan Lannan, and at 28, Alex Sutcliffe. 18th man for backs is number 10, Dan Murray. And as the teams come onto the field with the pyrotechnics, with members of the wheelchair and the academy flanking them one club all together the youngsters fell out we'll go through the Toulouse side number 22 fullback Zachary Santo number 5 Paul Marcon and number 19 Benjamin Laguerre on the wings 25 Matthew Laguerre and 18 Guy Armitage who scored two tries in France to give victory to the to Olympique last time. Half backs number 23, Robin Brochon and seven Jake Shorrocks. Front row, number 10, Harrison Hansen, number nine, Calvin Garn, and number eight, Lambert Belmar. Back row for the Olympique, number 24, Pierre Jean Lima, 11, Maxime Stephanie, and number 13, Anthony Marion. And on the bench for Toulouse. Number 14, Elwar Pelissier, 26, Ramon Nunes Silva. 28 Wales Scoundry and number 12 Dominic Peru 18th man for Olympic is number 20 Greg Richards and they are caused by Sylvan Hules referee for today as the crowd rises to its feet to signify that we as rugby league are against any form of discrimination Here's Marcus Griffiths. Here we go as all the youngsters make their way off the field. Halifax in their chain strip of purple against Toulouse in all white with a blue V. Fax playing left to right. In the first half, away from the south stand. Hopefully, the south stand will roar in defence in the first half and roar them onto victory, scoring tries in the second. The sun just dipping below the trees on the Skirkett side, but he's still sweltering hot. High 20s. As Toulouse kick the ball off. Jufre collects, hands it on to Calcott. Calcott runs centre field. Rise the challenge well, really well does Calcott. Jufre waits at dummy half. Finds Leroy against his hometown team. Put down by three men, including Harrison Hansen. Slow play of the ball, the referee allows it. Moore finds keys, hands on to Kavanagh. Kavanagh makes okay yards after contact, put down 25 metres out from his own line. Crooks waits, finds keys, runs across the line, keys. Oh, that's due for his gaps on there. Was there a loose hand in there? No, there wasn't. And Armitage gets the Gustav McComb and Halifax go back towards its own 10 metres as Salt and Stall comes in. 
And it's the last tackle already for Halifax and they're barely 15 metres out from their own line. Slow play the ball once again. Jufre finds Keys and Keys will spiral it downfield. Is looking for as much length as possible. Taken on, on the goal by Marcon. And Toulouse will start five metres inside the Halifax half. Here's a ragey figure. Probably yeah. There's a South Stand trying to get that defence going with the singing, but Toulouse get a quick play of the ball. Here's Belmar. He'll be stopped by two, three fast defenders inside the 20. And brush on dummy through, and this an easy score for Toulouse. First attack on Ifas's line, and the Frenchmen are in. Robin Brush on throwing the dummy through some pretty weak Halifax defence. And we've barely had two minutes here, and Toulouse on the board. Four points to nil with a kick to come. All the territory so far with Olympique. Three, four strong carries. They looked to spread the ball wide, but they didn't need to brush on through the dummy. Stepped inside. Found the gap of the defence and stepped inside. The fullback would burn all. The score underneath the post, leaving Jake Shorrocks. A rather routine conversion attempt. Underneath the sticks. Which he duly adds. Bells the ball through the post. And after three minutes of play, it's life as Panthers nil to lose Olympique six. Not the start. Halifax needed. As Keys kicks off. Hangs a kick in the air. Hands on to Harrison Hansen. Oh, knocks Fairbank on his back. It's rare that you see that. Here's Brochon again, throws a dummy yet again, but McComb and G wrap wise to it this time. As Toulouse fans this left hand side. They go towards the middle with Belmar. G and Leroy working overtime in defence helped out by Fairbank. Last tackle here for Toulouse. As Shorrocks puts it high. And Toulouse knocking on straight to the hands of Joe Keys and Halifax. Get ball in hand, that's a big let off. For the Panthers. Here's Crooks. He gets put down. 30 metres out. Centre field. As Salt and Stall come inside, looking for work and does well. As Jacob Fairbank is brought off for a head injury assessment, the after effects of that massive hit from Harrison Hansen. It's Adam Tangataru who looks to replace him. As Calcourt is put down just shy of halfway here. Here's Tangata straight into the action. Last tackle here for Halifax is Keys. Puts it high towards the corner, too deep for any real chases. Macon takes it well. Nevertheless, it's a good chase from the Panthers defence led by Ben Kavanagh. Good defence once more, Leroy joining in this time. Here's Laguerre, Benjamin Laguerre, lovely play, hands it on. 
Knocked on by Brochon. Sorry, knocked on by Santo. And Halifax, big let off there. Poor execution from Toulouse. As Brandon Moore goes himself on the scrum. Here's Calcott. Calcott. Tries three to lose defenders. Does well. Just outside the 20. First real attacking set for Halifax. Here's Keyes. Out the back to Dufre. Steps out. A rush defence to Guy Armitage. The carry on blind through Keyes. Out the back to Bernard. Lost the ball. Wide to Saltonstall. Saltonstall. Takes on the corner, can he twist over and get over the line? He's in, in the in-goal area, but to lose. Do well. Hold him up and push him back into the field of play. Still tackles here for Halifax G. Spins out to Keys. The to lose defence rushed up. Cutting off the supply there. Last tackle here for Fax. Moore finds Dufre and Dufre kicks it cross field, looking for Walsley. Crooks knocks it back. Walsley knocks it on. Into the Toulouse hands, and the chance is gone. Encouraging signs though, for Halifax in that attacking set. As Pierre Jean Lima takes the ball in. Here's Belmar, a chance, three Halifax defenders. He's still going, he's Belmar. Stopped by Tangata and G. Eventually, Garn goes blind, finds Hansen, and Hansen runs at Leroy, but Leroy does well. Held out by McComb and Moore. Last tackle here for Toulouse. Just inside the Halifax half, and Shorix puts it high and deep. Claimed by Wood Bernal, just inside the field of play. Looking for a counter attack, but Anthony Marion with great defence there. Shooting up from the middle. Saltonstall finds Wormsley. Wormsley put down 10 metres from his own line. Here's Crooks. Who's the handoff and does well. Gets outside the 20 metres, does Ben Crooks. Here's Saltonstall, runs across field looking for a gap. Put down just shy of the 30s. Halifax struggling to find any real ground here. Tangata does well. Last tackle here for Halifax. Dufre just goes for length. Dufre taken on the full by Santo at the back. Good chase though from Fax. He's put down on the 20 meter line. And Toulouse has spilled the ball, great defence there, Keys. Going to count tap through Walsley and Walsley. Gets brought down 25 metres out. Best start to an attacking set so far for Halifax. Keys feeds Tangata and Tangata takes his tackle just inside the Toulouse 20. Options left and right for Fax to go right. Short ball from Leroy, finds Dufre and Dufre. Hits the ball, he goes back to one. Slice of luck there for Luis Jufre. And Halifax will get six more tackles. Trying to force it somewhat. Here's Tangata. Drops off for Leroy. Leroy bounces off a tackle of Marion, but eventually put down 10 metres out. By Belmar. Two free caught in possession again, long ball out. Here's Sautenstall going for the corner and Sautenstall's in. Great tie from James Sautenstall. Acrobatic finish and James Sautenstall scores his 15th try of the season. Lovely approach play from Halifax. Keys through the long ball. 
One saw, ready? Did it again to much better effect than James Saltonstall. With a great finish. Over in that right corner. To Alifas right back in this game. After just over 10 minutes here, Alifas Panthers 4 to lose, 6 with the kick to come. It leaves Jufre a tricky conversion attempt. Has he managed to drift it over? No. He's just pulled that wide. The first goal Jufre has missed in quite a while. So the score remains six points to four in favour of Toulouse. But Halifax being encouraged by that, and the fans in that south stand are letting them know that. Toulouse labouring for the kickoff. Eventually, Santo gets us back underway. Goes wide to the corner to Saltonstall and Calcor yet again targeting in defence by Hansen. Gets a quick play of the ball as Calcor. Well done there. Here's Tangatar off Woodburn Hall. And with the way left and Kavanagh. On his 101st Halifax appearance, does well and gets a quick play of the ball. Keys runs across field, short ball to Calcott. This Toulouse defence rushing up on the fringes. More feeds Leroy, short for the rug, but that's good defence there for Toulouse. As Leroy fights for a quick play of the ball, more feeds Keys and Keys puts it high yet again, too far for the chasers, but it's a a good solid wall of purple in front of the Toulouse man who's put down just shy of the 20 metre line. Here's Matthew Laguerre. He's put down by Moore and Calcott. Oh, Brochon, uh, Santos through. Santos broken through from fullback, but Woodburn all gets back and he's still away. Walsley, did enough just to put him down. Panic stations here. Toulouse gonna work it way left. Brochon sets back inside. Walsley hangs on. Toulouse calling for a high tackle. The referees and he the first penalty of the game. And Ifax might not mind that to be honest. Gives him a chance to get back and get set. And Toulouse will turn down. The option of the penalty goal. Dave fans to try is Belmar. Takes a tackle just shy of the post. Yes, Shorrock, short ball to Hansen, but well de defended there by Leroya and Calcott there. Still tackles on the bag here for Toulouse. As Garn finds Shorrocks out to Laguerre. Laguerre steps inside. Well defended there by Keys and Crooks, but it's a quick play of the ball. Gan finds Shorrock, Shorrock throws a dummy, spins out the tackle, but Moe lights the task. Still tackles here for Toulouse, they go blind, there's a massive gap there as the Royer managed to hold him up. Joe Keyes is going absolutely mad, but Toulouse has scored the try, and yet again it's soft goal line defence. And it's the second row, Pierre Jean Lima who's got the try. After a quarter of an hour. 
And Toulouse stretched the lead out to 10 points to four. Can only think that he might have lost the ball. Or held up because Joe Keyes, you've never seen that animated. Going mad at the referee. And the touch judge there. But the referee made his mind up. And by the reaction of the South Stand, I think they agree with Joe Keys. There must have been something that has happened there. It gives Shorix a slightly more difficult kick, but well within the range for a prolific point scorer as, as himself. Here he goes. Drills it through the posts. And Olympique stretch their lead. After 16 minutes here. On this Saturday night at the Shea, it's Halifax Panthers 4, Toulouse Olympic 12. Looks like Fairbank has passed his HIA, which is great news. Keys gets his underway once more. Keeps that ball hanging as long as possible. And Hansen runs on a cone, but G takes over. Great contact there from the second rower. Slowing to play the ball down too as Toulouse were at the blind side and this time it's Maxime Stefani who runs into the defence of Zach McComb Marion throws a dummy scored a try down in the south of France in Marion always a dangerous runner here's Broch on another one back to Stefani but spins out the tackle of McComb but G and then Leroy comes to help him out he's been Working hard as Leroy while he's been on the field. Here's Hansen, runs across the field, just takes his tackle just inside. The Halifax half, last tackle here for Toulouse. As Garn finds Shorrocks and Shorrocks will kick long, will it? He's, it's going to be far too long. And Halifax will get a seven tackle set. I'm not sure what Shorrocks are thinking of there, but we'll definitely take it. Seven tackle set coming up for Halifax as Wormsley throws a dummy from the tap and he'll take his tackle. 25 metres out from his own line. Slow play the ball. Jufre finds Saltonstall. Short ball to G. <laughs> Nearly a bit of an hospital ball there for G, but does well. Plays the ball in the 40. Here's Leroyer. Just runs it straight and hard. He has put down just shy of halfway. Slow play the ball. It's six again for Halifax. First one of the game. Keys just off to Kavanagh and Kavanagh. Will take his tackle five metres into the Toulouse half as Calcott makes way for Lannan. Here's Leroy again. Charged into that defence. Moore finds Keyes and Keyes onto Jufre. Long ball to Crooks onto Walsley. Lovely play by Fast Walsley. Great defence there from Toulouse. Brilliant defence on that right hand side. By Paul Marcon, I think it was. It's rare that you see Walmsley on the outside get stopped like that, but this Toulouse defence definitely mean business this evening. And they'll get to play the ball 15 metres out from their own line, centre field. Here's Belmar. Targets more, but G and Leroy help him out. Garn waits at dummy half. Here's Guy Armitage, such a danger man for this two side, but Matty G does really well. Pushes him sideways. Here's a fullback and another dangerous runner, Zach Santo. And Santo dealt with really well by Jufre, international teammates, of course. Stefani finds Broshon, Broshon runs across the field, a great defence there by Tangata. Like an American football sack on the quarterback, that was. Here's Stanto again, takes the loose past halfway. Last tackle here for Olympic. They go blind and Shorrocks decides to put it high this time. 
not necessarily that deep and Woodburn all collects comfortably. Puts his nose through the gap, but he gets put down just outside his 20. Here's Saltonstall. As Fairbank passes it, Chaye comes onto the field for Leroy, who's run his blood to water his first 20 minutes or so. Fairbank hands it on to G. G has put down just shy of 40. McComb finds Fairbank, and Fairbank will just take it in. Centre field. Five metres shy of halfway. They go left and find Keys and Keys. Lovely kick toward the corner, Joe Keys. Is it just going to settle there? He's great. He just stops just inside the field of play and Santo has to run it out. Great chase as well from Crooks and Cavender and Crooks. Great work from Marker. But it's too good a work as he's caught offside. And Toulouse get another relieving penalty. Invitation to get out of their own danger area. Great kick from Keys and Chase, but the defence from Mark are too keen from Ben Crooks. As the ball that's 40 metres away is obviously causing some sort of obstruction. It's off the pitch, and Toulouse will take it into the defence by Pierre Jean Lima, the latest try scorer for Toulouse. Here's Shorrock, short ball to Belmar and Belmar stopped by Ryan Lannan fresh onto the field for Will Calcott Armitage well oh, sorry that's the game my mistake scrappy play the ball Marion hands it on to Shorrix shows and goes to Shorrix so who's working that right hand side good sliding defence there from Halifax as Marcon tries to bump off Keys, but it does well. Brandon Moore helps him out. Here's Belmar once more. He's put down by three Panthers defenders, 10 metres out, but banging in front of those posts. They're lining up left, but they go right. Shoritz goes towards the corner. Marcon takes it, he's out of play. And that's poor execution from Toulouse. They're lining up on this left hand side where they've got such striped players as Laguerre and Armitage. But they went against that. Marcon caught it, but he was already in touch. And Ifax escaped once again. Still Ifax 4 to lose 12. Just coming up to the last quarter of an hour of this first half. As G runs up. Big to lose defence. They shot up really well there. St. Helens esque there and G's felt that it's rare you see G stay down after a tackle but must be a real rib tickler as that physio straight on the field as Lannan takes his tackle onto Fairbank onto Keys. lovely play Halifax are away on that left hand side Crooks hands on to Walsley Walsley break up on that left hand side he kicks through looking for Woodburn Hall Woodburn Hall kicks through he's still with Woodburn Hall has he got it oh as Brochon just gets there in the nick of time for Toulouse. Fantastic rugby lead from Ifax. Working the ball left. Wormsley drew the full back, kick through of Woodburn all. To bounce in favour and kick through. And Robin Brochon out of nowhere. Kick the ball dead for Toulouse. As Matty G still receiving treatment in back play. That's the frustrating thing about Halifax this year. When we put it together, we look brilliant. It's just been few and far between as Toulouse shot the ball out, finds Saltonstall. Saltonstall about seven minds here, he just trying to take it on himself. And Halifax will start the set 25 metres out from the Toulouse line. G3 finds McComb, hands on to Moore and Moore, onto Lannan. Halifax losing the way a little bit there as G is going to carry on but how long Sutcliffe is warming up on the sideline as Kavanagh brings Halifax to us 10 metres out Crooks finds Keys. Keys drops off for Tangata and Tangata as well off and G is coming off 
sensible play there. As Alex Sutcliffe comes onto the field, Moore finds Keys, long ball out to Walsley. Walsley is pushed out there. Not enough room there. As Matty G's went straight down the tunnel, he's grabbing his ribs. It probably was a rib tickler that. I think it was from Harrison Hansen before. Hopefully. He's not too badly injured and can carry on. But as it is, Halifax after pushing too far on that left hand side. Walls out of touch and Toulouse will have to play the ball 10 metres out from their own line, which Armitage takes. Well, great defence straight on from Sutcliffe, who made his debut for Halifax in the south of France. Good work in defence again from Lannan. He's like, yeah, great tackle down low by that man Sutcliffe. What an impact he's had since he's come on, Alex Sutcliffe. And Halifax with a great opportunity to post more points on the board. Referee. Brings a stop to the play. No advantage for Halifax and they'll get a scrum. 20 metres out, centre field. Now, will we see a scrum move? We've looked dangerous when we spread the ball wide so far. Is there a move coming? Keys to feed. Hands on to Moore and Moore finds Jufre. This four on three, they're working well. We'll burn all. Oh, he's still going. We'll burn all. He's over. Yes! James would burn all. I thought he made the wrong decision by throwing the dummy and going himself. But the power and pace of the fullback. On a hot streak at the moment. Back in his more familiar full-back role. Scores his 13th try of the season. And once more, brings Halifax right back into this game. And with 12 minutes to go, it's Halifax 8 to lose 12. It wasn't the flashy scrum move that we've seen before from Halifax, but they worked the overlap brilliantly. Great pace from the scrum by Jufre. And Woodburn all just had to make the right decision. I thought for a, a second that he made the wrong decision by keeping all, but his power that he has and strength. So he shake off the tackle of Mark on. And go over for his 13th try of the season which hopefully Jufre will be able to convert. Guy's on its way and he has, he's back in the groove, he's losing Jufre. He's off the mark for tonight. And Halifax are within two points now. 10 points to 12. And he's fired this crowd right back up now. Lose you for his 62nd goal of the season for Halifax. And finally, the South Stand find the voices. As Santo, with an awkward kickoff, bounced into the hand of Jufre, onto Tangata, and Tangata does well. Good yard after contact, finds his front, looking for a quick play of the ball. Marcus Griffiths decides against it, said it was 6-1 and a half, does with the other. Meanwhile, McComb does get a quick play of the ball. Here's what burn all onto Keys, finds Cameron, Cameron onto Crooks. Just passing for the sake of it, I think a bit there, Halifax. But Cameron will take his tackle just shy of the 40 metre line. Crooks it was, sorry, my mistake. As Kavanagh takes him from dummy half. He must have heard me. Here's Keyes. Short to Lannan. Lannan. Thought about the pass to Fairban, but he takes him over, was half, over halfway as Lannan. Stands in the tackle. They can't put him down. Slow play the ball on the last. Moore finds Keyes and Keyes puts it high towards toward the corner, but Santo takes it. 10 metres in from touch. Runs across field looking for a gap, but 
Tangatara and Sutcliffe put him down great shot there by Lannan on Laguerre Benjamin Laguerre that it was another great shot there on Rush on, on Marcon by Sutcliffe he's really put himself about since he's come on and there's the unmistakable figure of Elwar Pellissier onto the field such a tricky customer from dummy half he takes loose past halfway here's Shorrox brings on Lima Broshon that's far too deep that's, that's nearly out of the stadium that's shocking well to lose and held themselves by the execution of some of their kicks but Halifax just got to take advantage now and Fairbank will play the ball just shy of the 40 centre field Moore finds Tangatar who's done well since he's come on the field he has put down five metres short of halfway Moore goes left and finds Lannan and Lannan will take us past halfway must be a bit of eye contact there by the Toulouse man of Peru Keys oh great shot there from the Toulouse man great ball and all tackle there I think it was Belmar I think he's going to come straight off for Toulouse after that only one it was this near side winger Tangata shoots out in defence gets the tackle there but he managed to get the offload away and it's Ramon Silva who takes to lose inside the Halifax 40 Policier finds Brochon throws it to no one Brochon <laughs> Stephanie and he's def that's definitely a knock on there it's Sutcliffe who's forced it off there and it's a bit of rocks and diamonds at the moment for Robin Brochon showed his class earlier on with a well taken try but in the last five minutes or so he's come up with a, a couple of really poor plays for this Toulouse side and Ifax have just got to take advantage now we'll get a scrum 30 metres out from our own line centre field as Tom Inman prepares to run at the fray Keys feeds more from the back of the scrum and that's his last start that he'll make way for Inman a salt and stall finds his front and there's a six again for Halifax but not much impact because that was the first tackle here's Inman fires it to Lannan juggles with it that could be an issue such a humid afternoon and evening here in Halifax it could be a greasy ball as Keys back inside to Tangata and Tangata stopped 35 metres from the Toulouse line Inman finds Jufre one ball out to McComb McComb tries to step out the clutches of Armitage but Armitage starts in there he can't put him down eventually the birthday boy does go down on the, on the ground slow play the ball Inman finds Jufre short ball to Fairbank and Ramon Silva does well, last tackle for Fax. Inman waits a dummy half. Finds Keys and Keys pulls it high. Centre field and surely Warns is taken out. Oh, ball there and he is. Cynical play by Don Peru. He knew exactly what he was doing there. And will Ifax take the two to level up this game or will they go for, for the try? The signal's gone up already. In such an important game, every point matters and Louis Jufre from 15 metres out, just the side of the posts, you would think would level this game up. But again, this last 10 minutes or so to lose are just pressing the self-destruct button. Some really poor last tackle, last tackle choices. Poor discipline with the ball and then there was no need for Peru to block Wolves off like that 
maybe thinks giving away a penalty for two is better than a potential six. Which Jufre duly adds the two from the tee. And after an indifferent start for Ifax, they've worked their way back into this game. And we're just less than five minutes to go in this first half. It's Ifax Panthers 12 to lose Olympique 12. As once more the crowd responds. It's Zach Santo again to kick us off. And again, it's a spiral kick. Awkward there. Saltonstall called early and does well. Armitage threw himself into that tackle. Held out by Stephanie. Here's Sutcliffe. Been brilliant in defence so far. Takes his tackle just outside the 20. Inman goes blind to McComb. McComb, great yards after contact by the birthday boy. Calling for a penalty. Known forthcoming, here's Fairbank. Great yards there from Bobby will take us up to halfway. And again, messing around the tackle, not penalised. Here's Sutcliffe. From the pass from Jufre. Opportunity of Loflo, just missed there. Last tackle for Fax, five metres into the Toulouse half. Inman goes blind to Jufre and Jufre will put it high. Sort of stall chase. And the ball comes loose. And Saltonstall will pick the ball up. And it's one of those. He was definitely knocked out by McComb. And Tangasar running away. Halifax sends to try before half time here. A great opportunity to post points and take the lead. Here's Inman. Finds Jufre. Goes himself. Put on that tackle of Brochon. But Armitage pushes him five yards back. Momentum lost a little bit there. And Jufre pushed down there. And he's concedes a knock on as well and again Toulouse may well feel that's justice done definitely messing around that play of the ball but Toulouse might feel that it was a one on one steal from Halifax which when went forward onto Salton Store it should have been a penalty and the chance has put more points on the board just before our time has gone for Halifax that is and Toulouse will get the scrum 10 metres out from their own line but the way this game's gone you just you feel that there's just one more score in it from either side really as Matthew Laguerre takes a tackle of Ben Crooks here's Peru and Peru makes some good yards after contact but he's eventually put down by Tangata Lannan and Fairbank. Griffiths tells him to get up as Silver. Compulsive offload in France, he gets the ball away then. And Toulouse knock on. What did I say? You just don't know much. You just did not think that the, the chances had stopped in this first half. As Toulouse kicked the ball away. Joe Keys. Never seen this animated. It was the officials calling for time off, Simbini, whatever. And can Halifax manufacture another try from this scrum? The clock stopped at 1 minute 11. 40 metres out, scrum centre field. Inman finds Dufre onto Crooks. Crooks tries to hand off Laguerre and Laguerre does well, sticks to his task and puts him down the 40 metre line. Here's Inman at first receive, hands on to Tangata. Tangata bounces off a challenge of Marion. He'll take his tackle there. Inman finds Lannan. Lannan. Ball about the pass, but thought better of it. Still making yards inside the Toulouse 30. They can't put him down. He stands there. Eventually they do. Not sure when he's held there, referee. Where's Inman? On to Keys. Kicks through. Looking for the chase of Walsley. Towards that corner. The backspin's there. And Toulouse will kick the ball dead. Last 30 seconds will we get the drop out here. Last 20 seconds, well, when will the referee call time off? He does, with 16 seconds left on the clock. Now. 
they could be trying for one more tackle and then then what well if that's go for a drop goal just for our time Salt and Stall takes he runs the ball back takes his tackle looking for a quick play of the ball now Lollifax look for the drop goal last play this half it goes to Dufresne and Dufresne does indeed look for the drop goal he drifts wide though poor connection there from Louis Dufresne nevertheless what an entertaining half for rugby Toulouse struck first in the first 90 seconds a lovely dummy and stepping try by Robin Brochon converted by Shorrox Back struck straight back through Saltonstall acrobatic effort in the corner. Two free success with that conversion, and then Toulouse came back. Pierre Jean Lima with a controversial score. Big Shorrix converted. But then Woodburn all. Lovely effort from the scrum. Jufre successful on the conversion, but then added a penalty to score half time, which means a score at the break in this must win clash for Halifax. There's a Panthers 12 to lose Olympique 12. Welcome back to the second half of this crucial Bedford Championship round 26. Game between Halifax Panthers and to lose Olympique. All square after 40 minutes of rugby as hot as the temperatures here on this Saturday night under the lights sweltering heat at the shade Halifax battled back into the game after going behind after 90 seconds through Robin Brochon James Stoltenstall acrobatic finishing the corner Pierre-Jean Lima with a controversial second try for Toulouse and James will burn all with a great try off the scrum, Jufre kick a couple of goals to level the scores up as Keyes gets his back underway. Here's Silver and Silver. Good contact there from Tangata and Sutcliffe, both done well since coming off the bench. Slowing the play of the ball down well. Referee Marcus Griffiths asking for the play of the ball to be taken again. Not happy with that. Here's Stephanie and Stephanie. Runs into Sutcliffe and Sutcliffe again. Does well. Matty G going off with an injury in the first half. But Sutcliffe has done really well since he's come on. The attack this blind side through Armitage. And Dufre and McComb do well to put the danger man down just past the 40. Here's Brochon. Short to Silver. And Silver put down by three. Tanger to down low and Fairbank and Sutcliffe up top. Here's Marion, short ball to the line. And it's a knock on there by Wales Scoundry. And he's wailing at that mistake at the referee. Doesn't agree with it. And Halifax. Have a great opportunity with the first use of the ball, the second half. The keys to feed. Here's Crooks. Crooks takes three to lose men to stop his progress. Five metres into the Toulouse half. Slow play the ball again. Inman finds it to Tangata. Tangata step off his right. Good yards after contact into Toulouse's 40. Inman waits, that's an half back. Goes blind, finds Keys. Keys, out of the back to Wilburnall. Wilburnall goes himself, breaks out the tackles. Wilburnall, he's still going, Wilburnall. Eventually put down by Santo. 15 metres out, Halifax now. Inman. Buys it to Fairbank. Flows a dummy Fairbank. He's put down 10 metres out. Great opportunity to Halifax to strike first. In this second half. Inman finds Keys. Straight onto a burn all. Short ball to Crooks. And it was he just went on, just forcing the ball there. And to lose survive. 
Santo takes his tackle just shy of the 10 metre line. Good tackle down low by him and finished up top by Cabana on Marcon. Here's Peru and Peru dealt with by Lannan, Tangata and Fairbank. Here's Laguerre, Matthew Laguerre. Gets a quick play of the ball to Pellissier, finds Marion and Marion tries to break the tackle of Inman and Suckliffe. But they put him down five metres past his own 40. Pellissier finds Brochon and Brochon pulls it deep. Will burn all weights and takes it. Long ball to Warmsley, Warmsley looking for a gap in the defence. He's put down by Laguerre and Peru. Keys to the dummy half, finds Stolten Stall, and Stolten Stall comes out of tackle one. Thought about the offload, but thought better of it. Just takes his tackle on the 30. Inman finds Crooks and Crooks makes some good metres upfield for Halifax. Gets brought down just shy of halfway. Inman works the blind side, hands on to a burn all, finds Kavanagh and Kavanagh, great tackle down low. And so that's a flop there from Shorrox. Quick play of the ball though, Keys finds Lannan and Lannan. Charges towards the Toulouse 20, last tackle here for Fax. Inman waits, hands on to Keys and Keys puts it high, looking for Walls at a chase. Well tackled, taken there by Marcon. And Jufre puts him down. Not a bad place to turn the ball over though for Halifax. As Matthew Laguerre takes the tackle of Tangata. Centre field. Here's Peru and Peru comes towards McComb. McComb does well, puts him down with the help of Jufre. Scrappy play of the ball. Armitage finds Broson. On to Silva and Inman straight in there, nearly forces the, the error. But somehow Silva managed to hold on. Here's Stephanie. Stephanie stopped by. McComb and Sutcliffe. Last sack here for Toulouse. Shorrox drills it through, looking for length. Bounces a couple of times and Wormsley just waits before collecting. There's a good chase upfield by Toulouse, a wall of white in front of him. And they're pushing back somewhat. Slowing that play the ball down. Keys at dummy half, finds will burn all onto Saltonstall. Tries to evade the challenge of Armitage, but Armitage does well. But it's a quick play the ball from Salty. Here's Tangata. Targets Brochon, it's a six again for Halifax. No penalties yet in the game so far for Halifax, but we've had three six agains. Lannan steps out of the tackle of Brochon. As in, here's halfway. Inman waits, shakes right and goes left. Here's Keyes, brings on Cameron on the angle, breaks off the tackle. They were amazing, we'll burn it all, breaking the line, we'll burn it all. Hands on to Cameron here, Cameron is away, underneath the post, and Ben Cameron on his 101st Halifax appearance, scores the all important score. First ball, ball, and try this second half. And it's that man, Woodburn all again, breaking through the line. What a try! Halifax take the lead. 16 points for 12 with a kick to come. After six minutes in his second half. Love the work in midfield, Woodburn all again, showed his, pay, showed his power to break through the line, drew the full back and it was Ben Kavanagh, who's 35 year old legs, just about carried him over the line, to the raptures of those in the south stand, saluting their hometown hero, scoring his eighth try of the season, and how important could that try be, not just in the context of this game, but in the context of Halifax's playoff charge. A Jufre adds the conversion. Jufre three from four. And Halifax into the lead for the first time in this game. Eight minutes going in the second half, Halifax. 
Oh, that's Panthers 18, Toulouse Olympique 12. What a start to this second half. What a response to Toulouse got. There's lots of players with hands on knees. They look a little bit tired. This heat may be getting to him. As Santo puts it deep once again, taken well by Saltonstall, hands on to Calcott, fresh onto the field. In play, so I think it's Fairbank is coming on, no Fairbank's still out there. He's on for Tangata, it looks like. Who's had a great stink since coming off the bench. As Alifaz looked to work it right in Sutcliffe. Gets the ball and referee gives the first penalty of the game to Halifax. It's taken nearly 50 minutes and finally Halifax have a penalty. But it's Joe Keyes boots into touch and Fax will start the set 10 metres into the Toulouse half. Which McComb will tap and go himself. Takes some great yards after contact as well, does Zach. How he'd love a try and a win on his birthday. Inman fires it to Lannan. Finds Keyes out of the back. Steps out of challenge to Shorrocks, does Keyes. Does really well, does Joe Keyes. Like they had an all game, they shot out on these edges, but Keyes does well. Takes his tackle just inside the Toulouse 20 centre field. And Ifax get the fourth six again in the game as Lannan charges through. Are you sure that's a two on one? Now Gunter again, will Halifax go for two to put them two scores up? Or will they go for the try? Louis Euphrase point already, no need for confirmation of the captain. Like I said before, and like Simon Griggs said before, it's all grand finals here, here on any of the regular rounds this season. Every point matters. And Dufray looking to put Halifax two scores up. As the crowd find the voice, the responding kind for the effort that Halifax have put in the second half. He's, up. He's only just come, kicked a goal from the same spot a couple of minutes ago as Euphrey. Can he make it four from five this evening? Two conversions and two uh, and one penalty. For Dufresne. Made up two conversions and two penalties for Dufresne. And Halifax has shot the blocks in the second half. After 10 minutes at the second stanza, it's Halifax Panthers 20 to lose Olympic 12. What you just feel, there's more tries in this game, and I fast just got to make this period of dominance count even more. As it'll be Santo once more to get us underway from the kickoff. And again, goes towards that corner, spiraling, well taken again by Salt and Stall. Good yards after contact too, and he'll take his tackle on the 20 metre line for Fax. Two friends on to McComb. McComb runs through, sure that was a nice tackle there from Silva. Nothing given by Marcus Griffiths as Inman runs the line well from Dummy R. Fans on to Fairbairn by the markers. And Ifax, the Panthers playing with the tails up at the moment. Here's Dufresne, keeps hold this time, takes us into Toulouse territory. Inman waits at Dummy R. Finds Fairbank and Fairbank sees the defence shooting out on the edge again so keeps all and does really well. Great yards after contact, last tackle here for Fax, Inman. Hands on to Keys and Keys puts it high. Too deep for the chasers. But Crooks does really well. Marcon playing for a penalty. Nothing coming as Crooks again works really well from Marker. 
and they're really up for it as out of south stand here's Mark Conn again Crooks again three thunder sackles here from Ben Crooks can he make it a fourth he's looking for it again as Peru as well and this south stand is really getting behind this defence and Toulouse have knocked on brilliant work there from Halifax what an effort as Zach McComb tries to get this crowd going even more so you feel that they've just got to score now all the momentum with the Panthers at the moment this Toulouse side look crestfallen right now there's no real communication there's just lots of hands on knees hands on hips what a defensive effort from Ben Crooks to chase the kick brilliant defence on Mark on and then two shuddering hits afterwards here's Jufre from the scrum tries to spy a gap but he's put down by Silva and Stephanie tackles in the bag here for Halifax inside to lose his 20 great opportunity for points Fairbank throws a dummy we're taking there not quite past horizontal in the eyes of the referee still tackles here Inman finds Calcott I would love his first try of the season Will Calcott he's still going Calcott just stops shy of the line Inman waits will he go himself and dummy half he loves a dummy half try does Inman Keys hands on to Lannan Lannan shows footwork at the line bumps Peru off Still tackles here for Halifax. Lannan didn't like the treatment we were getting from Marion. Here's Keyes, finds Dufre. On ball out to a burn all. Further off, Solis, 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 in the corner. Gets the ball inside. Oh! He goes into the arms of Robin Brochon. But Halifax willing to chance their arm and go wide is great to see. And big defensive effort again. This South Stand are really riling this Halifax side up. They've just got to be squeaky clean and not concede a penalty. As Costa, Santo, sorry, goes blind. He's still away. Here's Peru. Peru, big shot there from Inman. And down low by Fairbank. As Garn, back on the field, goes himself. Great restriction of yardage there to lose. Not even out of the 30. As Sorix tries to go along, but Walsy will collect straight from the go. Here goes Walls, just runs straight and hard. Here's Crooks. Tries to get a tackle there and Toulouse running in there. Jake Shorrocks looking for a big hit and got it completely wrong. And Ben Crooks looking for a penalty there. Two experienced campaigners there, Crooks and Peru, they know exactly what they're doing as we'll burn all. Trying to use his footwork in midfield. Just goes past halfway as LaRoya comes back onto the field for Ryan Lannan. Inman finds Fair back onto Dufre. Suckley breaks out the tackle of Armitage. He gets put down and pushed back a little bit. Dufre waits a dummy half. These play the ball just slowing down. Keys hands off to Calcott and Calcott. Still making yards. He'll play the ball on Toulouse's 40. Last tackle for Fax, they've not met that many yards. Keys puts a spiral bomb in the air, but he goes straight into the yard of Santo, but it's a great wall line there, led by Tom Inman. Great chase there. Here's Marcon. Great tackle there by Crooks. Here's Matthew Laguerre. Great tackle there by Kavanagh. Want to be a little bit of knocking on the play of the ball, we'll be back as we can see that. There's Belmar's back on the field as well. On halfway, play of the ball, the goal left. Brochon. Policier, loose carry there. Surely is Leroya does well. Brilliant play by Kevin Leroya. Two very good friends. Elwa Policier and Kevin Leroya. Leroya getting the better out of his mate there. Here's Sutcliffe. Another opportunity for Halifax. 
He's pulled down just shy of the 40, Sutcliffe. Inman waits. He finds Fairbank. Fairbank comes to Keys. Loose pass, but well picked up there by Crooks. And Crooks looking to make the breakthrough. Scratch to the ground by Shorrox. Here's Leroya. Winds up fresh on the field is Leroya. Takes Halifax towards the 20 metres. You just send something, he's at me near. Fairbank onto Drew Frey, steps out of the tackle of on. He kicks through, looking for Salt and Stall. Can he get there? Great cover up there by Peru. But again, Halifax playing rugby in the right areas of the field, chopping to lose in their own territory. Armitage takes his tackle. There's hey, Stephanie. Pulled down by Jufre. Sorry, this leg air, my mistake. Here's Shorrox onto Marcon, off his wing. He's put down well. As Harrison Anson comes back onto the field for Toulouse. His prop forward colleague, Belmar, makes some yards. Toulouse send the big hitters back on the field. Last tackle already for Olympic. And Shorrox puts it high. Will burn all, takes comfortably. Runs towards the centre of the field, but still spies a gap. He puts it all through, he's half break. Every time we'll burn all, gets the ball at the moment, he's looking dangerous. Quick play of the ball, Walls hands it on to Saltonstall. Saltonstall breaks through the tackle. Half break, nearly got the offload there. Halifax just breaking through at will near enough. Here's McComb, comes back from once he came. Onto Jufre, losing away a little bit, Halifax. Too free, trying to make the most of it, but he's put down just over the 40. Inman waits, finds Calcott, thought about the pass, but just takes it himself. Bumps Peru on the ground. Slow play the ball again. Inman jumps in, finds broken markers. Inman goes it through to the in goal area. Lovely way to kick, is a bit too strong, no. As Santo. Has to look again, that's a great kick there from Tom Inman. Forcing the repeat set. As Calcott is coming off with an injury. Hopefully this isn't bad, it looks like he's grabbing his wrist. Going slightly better news, Matty G. He's fit enough to take his place, that is good news. Hopefully Calcott is just brought off as a precaution, but it's rare you see him. Take a backward step, but also need to come off for an injury. Shorrock takes a drop out, controlling his foot by Jufre, hands on to Laroya. Laroya winds up and takes the ball in. Well put down by the Toulouse defence. Still Halifax 20, Toulouse 12. Last 20 minutes. McComb causing nose through. Harris Hansen didn't like that contact. Inman. Finds Fairbank onto Keys, brings on Kevin on the angle, manages to go backwards, he has gone backwards, here's Keys again, broken field, he's still going Keys, throws the dummy, he's put down just less than 20 metres out of Toulouse line, last tackle here, oh no he stopped the clock, my mistake, not too sure why he stopped the clock, I think it's a head injury assessment, as I said before, Hansen, came off that last tackle I think it was from Fairbank they didn't like that contact and I think the Toulouse medical staff have seen that he's, it could be a head injury assessment now this is where the green card could be an issue because the referee stopped the game and unless because he has got strapping on has Hansen whether it's a blood A blood injury, I'm not too sure. But you just think, and you see the amount of Toulouse staff that are on the field getting the water in the players. They've needed a stoppage. Mind you, Halifax have got pretty much all the non playing staff on the field giving the water in. But Toulouse wants to be on the ropes a little bit there. Marcus Griffiths probably probably ruling there it was a blood injury that needed cleaning up need a little move from the rook 
from Tom Inman, hands on to G who takes his tackle, 15 metres from the Toulouse line. Inman goes right to Dufray. One ball out to Woodburn Hall, who's telegraphed in defence there by Armitage. Picked out a treat there by Armitage. Here's Keyes, dribbles it over. Collected by Laguerre. Gets out of danger well, but it's a shuddering hit from Matty G. From Fairbanks, sorry. Here's Macon. Diving down the floor, looking for an eye tackle penalty. Here's Peru. Good yards there from Peru, but stopped by Inman. Here's Pelissier, don't think he wanted that ball. I think he was supposed to go to Anson, but Pelissier does well nevertheless. Gets a quick play of the ball, and Garn shoots out from dummy half. Great reliever run by Garn, he's still away. He's still away, he's Garn and Costa. Going all the way, Costa, he's over. What a try from Toulouse, and that is a sucker punch. An absolute sucker punch for Toulouse as Zach Santo scores the try that brings Toulouse right back into this game. I said before that stop is just helping Toulouse regather themselves, and that's exactly what's happened. Brilliant midfield break by Callum Garn, breaking through some lackluster defending, and it on to Santo whose momentum took him over the line and with a kick to come to lose but within four points the kick could be within two as the Shea falls eerily silent at this moment in time hopefully the momentum that's been built up isn't lost and he's just a little bit of a blip because Halifax have played really well this second half. There's still plenty of time left, 17 minutes to go. As Shorrox turns the four into six. He's three from three. So 17 minutes to go. It's Halifax twin to Toulouse 18. Massive quarter of an hour left. For Halifax. Toulouse has secured second place. It's Halifax that have got it all to play for. As Keyes goes deep and right from the kickoff this time. Collected by Broshaw, hands on to Hansen and Hansen. Dealt with well by Leroy, G and Fairbank. Slows the play the ball down well. Here's Belmar and Belmar make some good yards for Toulouse. Shorrock hands on to Peru. Peru drops the ball cool. And there we go. I said before, Toulouse are rocks and diamonds. We've seen the diamonds two minutes ago. Now we've seen the rocks. As Don Peru just dropped the ball cool. No one round him. Took his eyes off the ball. And Halifax now have the chance to get what could be the next crucial score. Still two points ahead, but it's a slender lead. Inman fires his due fair from the scrum. Here's McComb, sizes up the defence and just takes it himself. Makes some good yards inside the Toulouse 20. Two free weights. Finds Sutcliffe, thought about the pass but takes it himself. Saw the pressure of Hansen coming in. Ten yards out, Inman finds Keys onto Dufray. One ball to Crooks, Crooks. Out to Walsley, Lachlan Walsley's in! Lachlan Walsley! And he's got the try! To take Kaifax! Too far ahead of the Toulouse side. Waco Wolves is back in the try scoring groove. What a move it was. Oh, we're just under 15 minutes to go. 
Halifax strike right back after points, the perfect response. And Lachlan Wolves has scored his 34th try of the season. Brilliant play on this left hand side. Perfect ball to Crooks. Great centre play. Hand it on to Walmsley who had a, all the room in the world to finish. But Ben Crooks has had an outstanding game for me. Brilliant centre play it was. Now Cantalou, I can do free. Convert this to put Halifax back to two scores ahead. We've seen him slot over from here before. The crowd is hushed. Jufre strikes it well, it's gone over. What a kick under pressure from Louis Jufre. Five from six, and that's the best kick of the night. And Halifax get their eight point two score lead back. And with 13 minutes left, it's Halifax Panthers 26, Toulouse 18. And could that conversion be the nudge that puts Halifax just slightly too far out now? But like I said before, this game's had everything. It's Santo. Who goes short this time? They're looking back and it's clean by Tom Inman. What a take there from Inman. Great reading there. It was Laguerre who knocked it back, but straight into the waiting arms of Tom Inman. A salt and stall. Takes his tackle five metres shy of halfway, looking for the penalty. Here's Leroyer, bumps off the tackle again, but Hansen knocks into the ground. Inman finds G playing in the middle at the moment, Matty G. And why wouldn't you, the way that Sutcliffe's played well on that right edge. Inman shakes right and goes left, Keys finds Kavanagh. Kavanagh carrying on his great form from Whitehaven last week. Last tackle here for Fax. Crooks finds Keys. Keys. Puts it high, looking for the chasers. Marcon does well. But Dufre right there to put him down. Here's Laguerre. Hit by Dufre, then by G. And this is the story of the second half. Halifax relentless defence into losers' territory. Peru put down low by Inman up top, by Fairbank and G. And here's Pierre Jean Lima. Gets a quick play of the ball to Lima Garn. Finds Hansen. Onto Belmar and Belmar takes Toulouse towards halfway. It's another quick play of the ball. Policier finds Shorrox. Hands on to Hansen and Toulouse. Not really forcing anything. They're just going through the motions a little bit. Just trundling upfield. Garn finds Policier playing at first receiver, throwing some footwork in. Trying to bounce off a tackle of G. He sticks to him, but he's held out by Inman. Still tackles here for Toulouse. Shorrox finds Brochon. Brochon, short ball. Oh, Walsley nearly off the intercept. And Laguerre knocks on. Oh, like I said before, there's definitely still action left in this game. Oh no, it's a penalty. Referee's given an early tackle. Or a late tackle. Wow, there's still drama left. That's to lose. Have yet another chance to strike back. Here's Belmar. Two going low, there's not one eye. Leroy finishes the job. Garn finds Policier playing at half back. Showing some nifty footwork, Policier. Always a tricky customer, he's still going, Policier. Oh, just short. 
Gan finds Shorrock, short ball to Peru. Great tackle there by Joe Keys. Had to be as well. Gan finds Shorrock, it goes backwards. Oh, the referee gives a look on. Whoa! Well, look what it means to the IFAS players there. Zach McCone doing his best Ben K impression as well. Now, I don't agree with that. If that happened to Ifax, I'd be screaming blue murder for that. But it goes backwards and we'll take that. It's a knock on the referee's given and that's what we've got to play to the referee's whistle. There's just under 10 minutes to go. It's still Ifax 26 to lose 18. And Fax have the scrum. 10 metres out from their own line. Inman finds Crooks. Takes on Shorrocks and Laguerre. Who put him on his back? Inman waits at dummy half and finds Warmsley. Who thought he had another interception on his hands, but it just eluded him. As Jacob Fairbank comes off the field after a great game. Another brilliant effort. It's Aaron Tangatari who's come back onto the field for him. Here's Paul oh, Arroyo with a hurrying as a monstrous hit there. From Belmar, a bell ringer from Belmar. Here's Tangatar, takes the fax up towards halfway. Last tackle here for Fax. And the Royals felt the full force of that hit as well. Keys. Puts the bomb up. Marcon does takes it well. Because it was travelling as well. Matty G puts him down on the 20. Good tackle there from G. Quick play of the ball though. Here's Laguerre. Benjamin Laguerre that is. Takes his tackle. Five metres shy of the 40. Here's Costa. Santo, sorry. And Santo still making yards. Goes past halfway for Toulouse. They're still not finished yet. Slow play of the ball. Garn finds Broshon, short to Hansen, Hansen, met well by G, Sutcliffe and Tangatar. Here's Belmar, takes on himself, takes on him and him and sticks to him well, helped out by G though. Alan Leroyer, the cover from his knock, last tackle here for Toulouse, Shorrocks dinks it over the top, well covered there by Wormsley, and Wormsley Doing his best Chris joint impression there for voluntary tackle. Here's Crooks. Lifted up in the tackle and dumped on his shoulders there. Sure, that's past the horizontal. High fast play on so does referee. Here's Salt and Stahl. Looking to a yard up field and Toulouse. Turning up the pressure in defence. High fast struggling to make any headway out of their own danger area. Here's McComb. Make some more yards out. Five metres outside the 20. Slow play of the ball again. He's felt the effects of that tackle as Zach McComb. Didn't want those kind of birthday beats. See his Tangatar go through the line. Nearly has to offload away. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman finds Keys and Keys. Just goes for length. Brilliant kick. It's just going to be a bit too far, is it? Oh, just trickles dead. So it's a seven tackle set for Toulouse. Which the grand scheme of things I might not mind because doing real danger there and conceding an extra 20 or so metres for an extra tackle, they might not mind. Here's Laguerre, Matthew Laguerre it is. Taken down by Tangatar and Sutcliffe. And he's suffering with cramp is Laguerre as Armitage. Dealt with really well all night by McComb. It was through his defence that Armitage scored the game winning try in the south of France and as Zach McCormick exercised some demons tonight as Hansen plays the ball just past halfway here's Brochon Brochon finds Shorrocks Shorrocks out of the back to Santo and Santo breaks out a tackle of Keys but put down by Crooks as Toulouse edging ever close to the 20 Shorrocks goes himself, chicks through, there's no Toulouse chasers. 
and Dufre cleans up at the back. Does really well, uses his full back instincts well there, Dufre. Here's Solentstall. Great run up field, and Solentstall makes the half break. Stall by the pass to Woodburn all, but the Clues defence just put him down. Here's McComb. Oh, great tackle there from Toulouse. The ball spilled. And with four and a half minutes to go, Toulouse have yet another chance to post points. This game's still not done yet. As Belmar comes on, as Tom Inman comes off the field. Great stint there from Inman. As Brandon Moore comes onto the field to shore up the defence for Halifax. Here's Peru on the short ball from Shorrox. Desperation defence for Halifax. Garn on dummy half on Plissier onto Belmar. Great tackle there from Jufre. Had to be. Still tackles here for Toulouse. Here's Shorrox. Toulouse have men on this side if they use it. They grubber through as Walsley collects and will just see the ball dead. Goal line drop out. Toulouse of four. The Halifax will take all the time that they can here. The crowd doing their best to see the boys home. The Woodburn all to take the drop out. And get some decent length on it as well. Past halfway. Shorts collects hands on to Hansen. And Hansen runs straight into G and Lannan. Held out downstairs by Tangata. Six again, goal by referee, but he's on the zero tackle, so not much effect there. Less than two and a half minutes to go. As the tension rises in the shade, Garn finds Brochon, and throws a dummy. Not for the first time this game, but would burn all and Lannan wise to it. All the one marker, Garn goes blind. Shorrox. Finds Armitage and Saltonstall just gets his body in the way. As Armitage, I think he's out. Oh no, he ain't. He's, he certainly fell heavy. Here's Shorrocks again. Finds Belmar and Belmar takes on Tangatara and G and they do well. They put him down 10 metres out. Still tackles here for Toulouse. Garn finds Brochon. He juggles with the ball. Finds Shorrocks. Shorrocks onto Costa. Finds Mark Corden, as Mark Corden got over, he's just short, is he? He's gone for a double movement, well, and that's it! Surely that's the game! Surely that's the game for Halifax! And they know it as well, you can see by their reaction what it means. Just over a minute to go. Eight points the difference. Surely Halifax can't throw it away now. As Keys just strokes the ball into touch. As Crooks. As Tackle on the 20. Wormsley takes from dummy half. As the clock ticks down, 45 seconds to go. Sangata. Ho ho ho! What a hit there! I think it was from Belmar. Another bell ringer from Belmar as Lannan takes the ball up. Less than 30 seconds to go now. Lannan in no rush to play this ball. But Bernal takes it from dummy half as Pelissier works from Marker well. Coming up to the last 10 seconds and I fax a leak. As much time possible from this 10 seconds. Dufresne finds Keyes, and Keyes will find Walsley. Walsley away on this near side. Walsley chips and goes through. 
Show your sticker for the ball there. Toulouse kick the ball into Totten, that's it. And I fast recall a famous win against Toulouse Olympique to keep the playoff hunt alive. And for 24 hours at least, we're back in the playoffs in sixth position. What a game it has been on this Saturday night. Sweltering condition of the shade. But Halifax turned up the heat on Toulouse. Toulouse with tries for Robin Brochon, Pierre-Jean Lima and Zach Santo were enough as James Saltonstall, James Upburn Hall, Ben Cavanagh and Lachlan Walmsley with five Louis Dufresne goals. But Halifax too far ahead and record a brilliant win. Consecutive wins after the game of Whitehaven last week. Two massive games going to come. But from this Saturday night in this round 26 clash, Halifax Panthers 26, Toulouse Olympique 18.